Wrestling and Shooting Guard. Standing 5 foot 11, number 42, Chavis Johnson. At the other guard position, at 5 foot 9 inches, number 4, Lexi At power 4, at 6 foot 3 inches, number 12, Position. Six feet one inches. Number twenty four. Nafisa Boy. At center six six number thirty four. Sylvia Bounds. The head coach to your team. Welcome to the WNBA on 2K Sports. And on tap tonight, it's the Connecticut Sun going up against the Minnesota Lynx. Joined by Brian Benefitemi and Tim Swartz, I'm Blake Suniga, and we are so glad you joined us tonight. And guys, when you look ahead, who do you think will be considered the best player in the WNBA five years from now? Finally, a good question from you, Blake. I'll go with Brianna Stewart. I know she tore her Achilles, but she's never averaged less than 18 points per game in a WNBA season and became the league MVP in just her third year. I expect her to get healthy, get fully recovered, and dominate the league for years to come. Solid choice, Tim, but I'm going to say Asia Wilson. Now, she's got an advanced skill set for her age. If she develops a consistent three-point shot, she is going to be unguardable. And look... We're talking about somebody who averaged over 20 points per game as a rookie. Now here's Brown. Just five to shoot. Here's Collier. No good with the triple. And here the Sun. Here's Bonner. And it's good. Two points. What body control. Bonner, an excellent athlete. It allows her to make the difficult shots. Pass to Collier. Fouls. Here's Brown. Dantas outside. Brown with it. Thomas on her. Just over a minute and a half played here in this one. The putback. And it's Collier with the rebound. Here's the break. Now here's Brown. She's covered by Thomas. Collier outside. Fouls. Takes the 13-footer. Tipped away. As far as, you know, a jumper will go, that's as high percentage as it gets. Seriously, I don't know how that one didn't fall. Now here's Thomas. Back to Bonner. He can't hit that time. Now the Lynx take it the other way. To the inside. Shots good by Donis. And it's all knotted up. And you got to give uh, credit to Collier for the find. Her 6'2 height allows her to have a clean view of the court. Doesn't miss open teammates. Now here's Bonner. And the foul called on Nafisa Collier. That's her first foul. And here in the first, uh, about three minutes in. To the paint. Here's Thomas. First shot, first basket. She is out of the block fast. With the ability to score from difficult positions, Thomas is dependable when her team calls her number. Pass to Brown. Fouls. Shoots over Jones. Collier controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. Smooth, guys. Very good job getting herself in close enough that she could just tip it back in. And, and those kind of plays on the offensive glass can tell the story sometimes, can't they? They really can, Blake. They can't allow her to beat them too many more of those, or it's just going to be a recipe for disaster. 
now here's Brown. Looking for a first basket still in this one. And there's the foul. It's on Thomas. That's her first foul. Johnson outside. Six on the shot clock. Collier outside. It's one why she's been named to an all-defensive team. Bonner uses her rare combo of height, length, and smarts on defense. The Lynx trailing. And here's Brown. That's tipped. Shoots over Thomas. Good work defensively by Jasmine Thomas. Pass to Thomas. Shot clock at five. And so she draws the foul on the shot. Uh, tricks to the line to shoot two. Yeah, with strong mental and physical preparation, Thomas is able to keep her composure and really just do her thing out on the court. And one of the most exciting things about the WNBA, the draft is usually three days after the college season ends and only about a month before opening night. How do you guys like that setup? It's really the best way to do a draft, if you ask me, because you see all of the excitement of Vegas drafting Asia Wilson and then getting to see her play just weeks later. Or how about Seattle getting to see Brianna Stewart in action quickly after winning a title? So I'm just going to say it's a fantastic way to drum up interest. I love it too, Brian. Instead of the months and months of speculation about you know, how someone fits in, we actually get to see them play. It's awesome. You keep the momentum going too. And best of all, we get to see who is for real. To the middle. Fouls. Well-timed pass, and it goes straight to the bucket for the layup. Well, this is where foul strives. She loves getting the ball down low, close to the hoop. Pass to Jones. Scoots over fouls. And that one hits back iron. Johnson right side. Collier outside. Dantas outside. Down low. And unable there to get the go-ahead bucket. Here's Bonner. So the whistle blows on the shot. Two free throws for the contact there. It's going to be on Nafisa Collier. And remember, you know, back in 2012, it was a, a breakout season for Dewana Bonner. She scored more than 20 per game. After her first three seasons in the league, she averaged just about 10. And first trip to the free throw line for her in this one. Dewana Bonner was exposed to the game. Her dad, Greg McCall, a college head coach. And you can see it in her game. A very high IQ player who is comfortable on the floor. And good on the second. So she makes both. And guys, it's not just her dad who's into basketball. Dewana's younger sister, Erica McCall, was the 17th overall pick by the Fever in 2017. Yeah, they must have had some crazy games of 21. And Erica is actually eight years younger than Dewana. But it just goes to show you how growing up in a basketball environment breeds greatness. Here's Charles. And she tries off the glass, but it's no good. So the links now. Christmas Kelly outside. Pass to Bantam. Back to Christmas Kelly. 
Sinks the triple. Well, when she entered the league back in 2011, this wasn't part of Christmas Kelly's game. Her confidence in her J has really increased. Here's Mosqueda Lewis. He hasn't yet put up any points in this one. Here's Heidemann. And she can't answer back the three-pointer offline. Inside, Christmas Kelly. And you can count it. She'll go to the line with a chance to make it three. They're forcing the ball inside, and it's working like a charm. No luck needed. It is working for sure. Five of their last six field goals, but they've come from inside the paint. One shot. Hey, thinking of what it means to play tough, just ask Christmas Kelly. Tons of playoff experience under her belt. She's not afraid to bang and bump on the court. Here's Heidemann. Here's Charles. Offensive rebound. Got it. She's now three for five from the field. And she's having a quarter converting at a high percentage. To the middle. Christmas Kelly gets the bucket. And Karima isn't just known for playing hard, she's known for playing smart. Yeah, with her high basketball IQ, she usually has a good grip on what the opponent is thinking. And Karima's got great recognition, which she uses to disrupt passing lanes. Well, you have to like the work of the boards here in the first. Yeah, coming out of the gates with great energy, kind of like they got shot out of a cannon. They're really setting the tone. Boom. Here's Heidemann. No scoring yet from her, but that's likely to change. Well, look, no matter what the score is, her attitude has been perfect. I mean, she has stayed in attack mode. Pass to Bantam. Teardrop shot, and that one good. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic, and it's a big part of why they've been able to get good looks. Absolutely, the defense unable to react quickly enough to deal with their passer. Here's Mosqueda Lewis. Slazons, a kick out to Bonner, just for a shoot, watches it. That missed basket takes her to four for eight from the floor. To fouls and it's going to be two free throws drew contact on the shot yeah a player who seemingly welcomes contact fouls is physical and earns herself a trip to the line and it's her first trip to the line take a break take a break two shots First one falls for her. It's been quite the career for Fowles. Second overall pick in the 2008 WNBA draft and has also won multiple championships and finals MVPs. That's also good, so she hits them both. Here's Heidemann. She hasn't scored yet. That, I'm sure, will change. Knocks it loose. Stolen by Sylvia Fowles. And as we conclude the first quarter, a one-sided game so far. The Lynx on top, up by 10. Stay with us as we get set to bring you quarter number two after this. A lopsided first quarter in the books as we get ready to begin the second quarter. And from what we've seen from the Lynx, what's your take so far? A lot of tough D by them so far. It's been a difference maker. Nothing has gone up uncontested for the most part. And look, that's why they've had success. And here the Sun, trailing by 10. Pass to Bonner. Here's Mosqueda Lewis. To the wing on the left. Here's Charles. Rebound by the Lynx. So many games are decided by which team wins the rebound battle, and that's how true in this one, Tim. Yeah, Brian, their effort on the glass, it, it has given them the advantage. 
It's made a difference without question. Here's Heidemann. Sylvia fouls with the defensive effort. And here are the links now. Ten-point lead. This is their biggest lead. Christmas Kelly, right side. Pass to fouls. Count it. How many times have you seen a possession like that from them today? Such a pretty pass. I don't have an exact number for you, but I can tell you it's... We've seen them a lot. Okay, let's just say that. Strictly using assists as the measuring stick, they've been by far the better team. Now here's Bonner. Ten points for her. You see defenders afraid to get in her way a lot of times when she's on her way to the bucket, but not that time. Bonner defending. Back to fouls. Let's go with a three. Blazons pulls it in. And they could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Yeah, too many empty possessions. I mean, it's simple. They need points. You know, that's an easy two because of the pass of Bonner. A great feel for the game. Her dad, Greg, a college head coach. Here's Bannum. Shoots the three. They get it again. And the shot goes in. She has shot the ball exceptionally well as they've built this lead for themselves. Timeout call the Sun. I've heard fouls as coaches and teammates rave about her big heart and charming personality. Always there for her team. Sylvia's a player that lifts the spirits of those around her. And a little under two and a half minutes gone by here in this second quarter. Pass to Holmes. And here is Jones. Six to shoot. Here's Thomas. And that's going to be a travel. Just a, a total loss of concentration right there. Yeah, this game could turn even more sour on them if those are the kinds of mistakes they're going to make. You need better focus. Pass to Johnson. Now here's Collier. Using the post moves to get the two points. Oh, there's a high degree of difficulty make from Collier. What an adjustment in body control. Thomas with the ball. Thomas outside. Jones right side. Second shot opportunity. And so she earns a trip to the line. A official saw the contact and she'll shoot two. It's going to be on Nafisa Collier. Well, guys, there are three players that are tied for the most MVP awards in the league history with three. But will anybody ever get four or more? Hey, it's possible, Blake, but it sure is a tall task. The only active WNBA player with multiple MVPs is Candace Parker, and she's already been in the league for well over a decade. I look at Brianna Stewart as a potential candidate. You know, she won her first MVP award in just her third season in the league. Now, there's some hope there. Shots good from the strike. And just under three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. Pass to Brown. And there's the call on Jasmine Thomas. 
That's foul number two for her. That's her second foul, and the last thing she wants to do is pick up a third foul here because it's just way too early in the game for that. Now here's Brown. Wyatt so far offensively searching for first points of the game. A patient and productive defender, Thomas reads opponents really well. And they're looking for some kind of spark here. Yeah, cold stretch offensively. They need a bucket. And she comes up with the deuce. The defenders didn't really even get a sniff of her on that move to the iron. Collier outside. Fouls. Shot from 12. That one a little long. To the inside, Thomas. And a miss there with a chance to cut the lead to single digits. Now here's Brown. He's covered closely. Back to Johnson. Clock at six. Dantas. He's covered by Thomas. The offensive rebound. And basket is good. Got it to go through the contact. So a free throw coming up. Opportunity for a three-point play. What an impressive career Fouls has had. Multiple championships, finals, MVPs, and all-star nuts. And she's done it with a strong presence in the paint. Scoring, shot blocking, you name it inside, she's done it. with fouls she's not only an icon in the league she's a terrific teammate as well yeah she's more than willing to act as a mentor for others because people see her success and want to emulate it so to me sylvia is nothing short of a class act as she brings the intensity of both ends night in and night out now here's johnson still getting warmed up offensively no buckets yet in the game for her Pass to Fowles. Johnson. From long range. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get it off in time. Thomas outside. Nafisa Collier with the block. Not today. Collier, a very good shot blocker. Really good with her timing. Thomas outside. Shot clock at six. Here's Holmes. Tremendous contest by Collier. Here's a big who generates tons of steals as well. A real defensive menace. Pass to Brown. Fouls. Guarded by Jones. Dantas' shot is off. And terrific defense at the rim got right in her path. And you know they'll be worrying about her next time they take it inside, too. And really, that's what great defenders will do to you. Now here's Thomas. She's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. And that one drops for her. Keeps defenders uncomfortable, and I think it's because of Thomas's ability to play assertive but composed around the rim. Here's Johnson. Back to Brown. All alone. A shot by Mosqueda Lewis. No good. Foul call that time on the way up. And that'll give her two chances at the free throw. Plays hard, but always with respect. And it goes back to Thomas's graceful presence, not just on the court, but off the court. No good on the free throw. Fourth pick in the 2014 WNBA draft. Thomas actually came to the Sun in a draft day trade. No good on the second free throw. Now here's Brown. 
He hasn't scored yet. That, I'm sure, will change. And the Lynx miss again. She is going to buy herself a ticket to the bank if she keeps shooting like she has this quarter so far. And here are the Lynx now. They've led by as many as 14 points. Right when you thought that shot was leaving her hands, she reinvented it. Now here's Thomas. Jones, covered by fouls. Here's Bonner, uses the glass to finish the layup. You can always depend on her to put that lead pass right on the money. Pass to Collier. Dantas. And here's Brown. He's covered by Thomas. Here's fouls. That's tipped. Now here's Bonner, covered by Collier. Thomas with the ball. Bonner, covered by Collier. Puts it up from 15, and the basket is good. Must be frustrating for the defender on Bonner. You must guard this part of the court, the in-between area. It's Karima Christmas Kelly on the wing. Releases. And Jones pulls it down. They didn't give her any breathing room to take that shot, and that's exactly what they should be doing. Thomas, he's guarded by Dantas. Bonner outside. Pass to Thomas. Takes the three. Minnesota grabs the miss. Collier outside. Christmas Kelly. Up top, Dantas. Here's Brown. The three won't fall. She just continues to struggle from the field. Now, her team has been able to overcome her performance, but I'm not certain that she's going to be able to turn it around today. Shot to stop the drought. He got it up in time, but it just wouldn't fall for her. And that concludes the first half. Links ahead. They're up by seven. And we will be right back after halftime for the start of the third quarter. See you in just a bit. second half about to start in just a few moments. It's been an absolute clinic out there by Dewana Bonner. She's been a revelation tonight, scoring almost at will in the first half. Hard to imagine she'll be able to keep it up for the next two quarters, but you never know. It could be a special night for her. Now the second half about to get started up again any moment. The sun trailing. Up top, Thomas. So she gets the whistle. Contact on the way up. Two shots next. Looking, hopefully, to get something to drop for at the line. Missing badly this game so far. Two shots. Oh, take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And she makes the first. And that 
one goes in. Two from the line that time. And here are the Lynx now. They've led by as many as 14 points. Here's Collier. Lays it up and in off the nice reverse. Great to see her score inside. Collier is an all-around forward, capable of scoring in a variety of ways, including in the paint. Now here's Bonner. Pass to Holmes. Shoots over Johnson. Kept alive. And that one's good. Jones. I've really liked their activity in the post today. Their movement down low has just been great. Exactly. They've generated easy opportunities inside. Now here's Brown. Collier. Bonner defending. Here's Johnson. Out of bounds. It'll be Sun Ball. There's no excuse for that turnover. That's just a straightforward pass gone wrong. Here's Thomas. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game for her. Jones outside. Up top, Bonner. Holmes. Pass to Thomas. Here's Jones. Got a piece of it. Collier outside. Johnson. Yes, and it's now Pisa Collier picking up the assist. They'll take as many of those looks as they can get, trust me. Well, teams are always looking for players that can make an immediate impact, and Nafisa Collier sure fits that mold. She earned All-Star honors in just her first WNBA season as she replaced the injured Asia Wilson. She hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance point. What a motor foul. One of the best in the league at converting second chances. Pass to Jones. Thomas. A rebound by Dantas. And thinking about Collier's all-star rookie season, I know she was an injury replacement, guys, but she really earned it. No doubt about it at all, Blake. Uh, she's got a wide-ranging skill set and is a true difference maker on the hardwood. She's a strong finisher around the rim, and defensively, she's really got the instincts to help her game take off. She's their go-to scorer, and when she shoots the ball like she has today, that is what the scoreboard usually looks like. Pass to Jones. Now Bonner, covered by fouls. Bonner, no good. They've shown some strength in the paint. Their work on the boards has been phenomenal. Yeah, and that's putting him out, these guys. They've been absolutely dominant. Her stroke has been dead on. Inside, outside, wherever. The shots are falling for her. Thomas. Pass to Jones. Goes up with the strife. Thomas, no good. Boy, the complexion of this game would be a whole lot different if she had shot the ball anything like she's capable of. Brown. She's covered by Thomas. And a basket by Brown. Well, you know, offensively, Brian, they've been really special. Yeah, you nailed it, Tim. No matter what the defense has thrown at them, they've just kept piling up the points. And more points. Now here's Bonner. He's got 14. Well, this is why you need good defenders inside contesting shots. Yeah, making every shot a tough shot, even in tight. Brown with it. He's covered by Thomas. Stolen by Jones. To stop the run. And the bucket is good from Thomas in deep. With top shelf speed and agility, Thomas makes driving to the basket look easy at times. Minnesota calls a timeout. They could tell their players are dragging a bit and call timeout to let them catch their breath.
Khan making a change here. And these guys have had some good motion on offense. Nice assists. When everybody's involved offensively, it's in a way helping you defensively too. And there's the call on Bonner. That is the first foul of the game. So it's both teams making substitutions here. Christmas Kelly outside. Down low. Makes it off the glass. What a clean look. Big credit to Christmas Kelly. She had the awareness to find the open player. And they've been looking at a sink offensively. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. To the left side wing. Another three for Minnesota. Yeah, I saw a little confusion amongst the D uh, as to who was supposed to be guarding her. Knocked loose. To the paint, here's Alexander. And a foul called on the shot. Got her on the way up that time, so she'll shoot two. And this is her first free throw of the game. Alexander at the line for two. First free throw is good. And she makes both free throws. And here's Connecticut. 19 point game. Outside Charles. To Mosqueda Lewis. Knocked loose. Six to shoot. And she makes in the layup. A nice jump for their offense in the second half. Now over 50% shooting for the game. Yeah, I'm no mathematician, but I think that's a pretty good shooting percentage to have. And no surprise to see them in the lead when you can score efficiently like that. Bucket is good. There are so many ways she can score. Bonner can operate in the paint. Her physical abilities help with that. Pass to Christmas Kelly. Here's Alexander. Down to five on the shot clock. Bantam. Unloads again in Minnesota. Zero fear. As soon as she gets the rock, Collier ready to fire. And so here is Connecticut. Bonner outside. Pass to plays on. Charles in the post. Deflected. Here's Bantam. It's Karima Christmas Kelly on the wing. Side. Anna, shot is good. Her quickness and soft touch around the rim. It allows her to pull off shots like that. A lot of players don't have the reverse in the arsenal. Bonner outside. And stolen by Collier. Pass to Christmas Kelly. And she uses the glass on the layup. They need to get way more disruptive defensively. They just can't keep allowing these easy buckets. You know, get a little physical, show some effort. Defensively, that's job number one. Effort, nothing easy inside. Blazons pulls it in. You know, she shouldn't miss those, but you know, it, it happens to the best of them. Bonner with the bucket. That's when she's at her best. Bonner needs to go right at defenders off the bounce. Collier up top. Nafisa Collier draws the double team. Buries it from three-point range. And add another three-pointer to their second half total. They came out of the break dropping bombs and are just not letting up. You'll love to see that. Here's Heidemann. 
He hasn't yet put up any points in this one. Mosqueda Lewis, covered by Collier. Here's Charles, on target from about 13 feet. Here's Bannum. It's Karima Christmas Kelly on the wing. Here's Alexander, nine foot shot. Again, Minnesota. After uh, leaning on the three-point shot in the first half, they're starting to get away from it here in the second. More of their shots are coming from inside. Here's Mosqueda Lewis. Pass to Heidemann. Clock at six. And stolen by Collier. Comes up empty down low. At the end of the third quarter, a huge lead. And this one may already have been decided. The Lynx on top, running away with it. And we're coming right back. Be sure to stay with us as we get set for the fourth quarter. Welcome back. Fourth quarter of action starting up in what has been a one-side show. And here are the links now. Out to the wing. Thirteen feet out. They get it back. And it's rejected. Pass to Heidemann. It's good, and she drew the contact on the shot, so she'll go to the line. A three-point play opportunity. The Sun making a switch here. Mind the lanes. Mind the lanes. One shot. Brown, pass to Bantam, Dantas, now Brown, fouls with it, she's covered by Thomas, Johnson outside, five to shoot, fouls with it, basket number eight for her on 13 attempts, that's a 62% clip so far. And that's how you pick up second chance points. Stay active and be ready to react as soon as the shot goes up. Now here's Thomas. And so it looks like the Sun will retain possession here. The Sun making a switch here. Just over a minute played here in the fourth. Six on the shot clock. Right wing. Unloads from 13 feet, and she drops that one in. And she's showing signs of life now after going scoreless through halftime. Pass to Bantam. Back to Brown. That shot missing. And Connecticut will go the other way with it. Well, they're winning despite her errant shooting. Now Thomas. And yep, it's good. Great communication between teammates there. Pass to Dantas. To the inside. Fouls. It falls for basket number nine from the field. And she's taken 14 shots to get there. We're in the fourth quarter here, just under two and a half minutes gone. Here's Holmes. Excellent D there from Sylvia Fowles. Here's Johnson. Soft touch off the glass. Check out that assist. That's a pair of teammates on the same page. Pass to Thomas. Holmes. And here's Thomas, and the foul on Sylvia Fowles. That's foul number two for her. Substitution for the Sun. Demon Bonner. Yeah. 
And just about three minutes through the fourth and final quarter here. There was just enough defensive pressure to get her off balance. And here's Brown. Here's Johnson. The three-pointer off the mark. Bonner left side. Banked in off the glass. Well, the way she rebounds, defends, passes. Bonner does so much on the court. When she's scoring like this, it is a giant plus. Now here's Brown. Out to the wing. Just five on the clock. Pass to Johnson. They get the rebound. Fouls. That's good. Here's Holmes. Bonner outside. Lays it up and banks it in. Why not just take the game right to the defense? With a looping ability, Dewana Bonner can finish at the rim, even with a bump. Yeah, counted. She's had such a steady hand, and I think watching this game, she's the one responsible for getting them this lead late. Yeah, her shooting percentage is unreal right now. Just so dependable here today. And the Sun call time here. You gotta like what Sylvia Fowles has done in this game. She's been attacking the rim with ferocity. They have to do a better job of keeping her out of the paint or they're gonna pay for it. wing pass to Thomas Thomas outside Bonner shot clock at six the rebound by Dantas and they're in complete control everything they're doing it's been working out wow Johnson outside pass to Bantam That time from Dewana Bonner. Here's Holmes. Johnson defending. Now here's Thomas. Up top, Bonner. Thomas outside. Well, when it comes to defending guards, Jasmine Thomas is one of the best in the league. She's a 5'9 guard who is just tenacious and constantly drawing the opposing team's best guards. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The first one falls. Some great free throw shooting so far here in the second half. They should keep trying to initiate contact to get back to the line until they start missing from there. But as it is, they are perfect so far. And you get the points, and you stop the clock. That's how you do it. He's perfect from the line this time. A much improved free throw shooter. Thomas is always looking to get better. Pass to Carlton. She's covered by Thomas. Down low. Beautiful dish, and the layup goes down. And Thomas answers the call night in, night out. A fixture on the all-defensive first team. Thomas plays with full effort. He's got quick hands, great moving her feet. She takes so much pride in the defense. The jump hook, and that's off the glass and in. And they've been really controlling this one. Never want to get too complacent, though. Pass to Fowles. Sylvia Fowles drawing the double team. Fires for three. And the rebound goes to the Sun. Left side, Charles. Thomas. To the middle. Thomas, good. If you were looking only at the way she's played offensively, you'd think her team was ahead. Fouls. Nice work.
work on the boards, paying off with the basket. He has been unconscious this quarter. They're riding that hot hand. Here's Charles. And she drops in the layup off glass. The second she got around the pick and shook her man, it was straight to the bucket for the easy deuce. Very well done. Now here's Christmas Kelly. Fires from 14, and the jumper is on the mark. Little mid-range action. Christmas Kelly needs this in her game as a six-foot forward scoring at all parts of the court help. Now a timeout called by Connecticut. The coaching staff needs to tell their players to seal off their opponents after the shot. That's fundamentals and really just basic basketball. And they're allowing way too many second shot opportunities. Player of the game, Sylvia Fowles. Pretty obvious call there. She really carried this team. Incredible intensity, and that energy is infectious. Her teammates feed off her spirited approach. Well, it's easy to tell how strong of a connection she has to these fans. And the better she plays, the stronger that connection grows. Pass to Charles. Jones left side, five on the clock, and down it goes, two points. Nice touch near the hoop. Christmas Kelly outside. It falls for the sixth time in seven tries this contest. That's an 86% accuracy mark. Pass to Charles. Again, the Sun score. Here's Christmas Kelly. Carlton, guarded by Charles. Just five on the clock. Inside, here's Alexander. A good finish at the rack off the slick feed. I don't want to say that they're trying to run up the score, but uh, if you keep adding up to that lead. Well, if you won't say it, partner, I will. They're trying to run up the score here. Thanks for saying that, Brian. Now here's Charles. Out to the left wing. The three. And Christmas Kelly pulls it down. And they can just let the clock run out here. Can't argue with it. Just get the W. Get home. Taking a W here. This game may not have been the most exciting we've ever seen, but you just have to appreciate just what a clinical performance they put on. I know their fans appreciated it. We saw the excellent defense, a potent offensive effort, and they were pretty much dominant. And that's a wrap, everyone.